Hey guys and welcome back to my channel or welcome if this is your first time watching one of my videos. Hi my name is James and today I'm going to be giving you the full reveal of this amazing crazy kitchen transformation. Okay guys so when I was initially designing this kitchen I knew I wanted open shelving all along this wall and um, just because I feel like if we had cupboards it would be an awful lot and very heavy looking. So I wanted this kind of open, kind of country, rustic kind of vibe going on. So as you can see here we have all like plates and cups and bowls and it's like a mix match of different kind of styles. We've got some more kind of traditional vibes going on here, kind of handmade pottery as well as these kind of really cool and funky glasses. It's just a mix of styles and I love mixing different styles together because I feel like it creates a really cool and fun kind of energy and vibe in this space. And a lot of this stuff we've had for years, a lot of it was gifts, like the pottery up here, for example this vase, it's all part of one big massive set, so we have a little dish back here, we have little goblets here, there's like a whole lot of different stuff and there's more on that shelf over there. These were originally on the pantry that we had in the kitchen, so we decided just to add them up here just to kind of bring this space a bit more alive, and it adds a bit more kind of a story to the space as well so I'm not like everything's brand new and we actually got these shelves and brackets from a company called Crate and Barrel I'll have them linked down below as well they are an amazing company they're based in England but they do some amazing amazing stuff and it's all handcrafted and handmade and I just love that kind of vibe for this space okay guys so then over here we wanted to create that same kind of moment as shelving over there but we didn't want them to be the exact same so we have kind of different kind of stuff over here so we have wine glasses and stuff because this isn't the kind of tea and coffee area this is just this is just for the extra kind of glasses and stuff so we have these beautiful crystal wine glasses up here we got them in tiki max they're stunning they're so nice to hold they're a beautiful shape and i just thought you know they look lovely up there and then we also have this beautiful kind of vase that we have as well. A lot of this stuff is like really old, like we've had for like a long time. So I just wanted to find new ways to use it and incorporate it into the space. And as a bonus, it kind of is the same color scheme that we're going for. So it worked out for the best. And then we have these beautiful kind of pottery plates up here as well. So they have that same kind of style as the ones over there, just to kind of add that consistency and that balance in the space as well. And then we have also some champagne glasses. These are beautiful, they're actually gold trimming around the top and it's 24 carats, I think it is. And these are beautiful, I found these up in the attic and yeah, they just add a really nice kind of vibe. We never really use them, but I just really like how they look. They kind of add that extra like depth with the kind of gold trimming around the bottom of them. And yeah, I just really love them. Okay guys, then we also added these beautiful curtains in here as well because when you're in a space, when you're designing a space, you want to create texture and it just adds that warmth and coziness to the space as well as interest. So we have these beautiful kind of um, grey and they have kind of a navy kind of knit through them and they have that like woven kind of a texture and they're just beautiful. So And they have these vertical lines going up it so it kind of adds that height as well and kind of mirrors the kind of pattern of the ceiling as well. So we added these and they just, trans when we put these in, it just brought the whole place, space to life. And like, I'm a big fan of curtains in the kitchen line. Okay guys, so then over on this wall, we have larder presses going all the way down. So in here we have larder fridge. So we have a fridge in here. And then we also have a larder freezer in here. So like literally endless storage and then this is a storage cupboard in this one, I mean this is a storage cupboard and then and then in here is just a pantry so we have double door pantry in here and it goes all the way to the top all the way to the bottom. Okay guys so then here is the beautiful sink and island and this is probably my favourite, favourite part of the kitchen because we chose this beautiful kind of traditional in style tap and it's just a beautiful kind of pewter colour so it's not like your standard kind of stainless steel that everyone else would have this is very luxurious, beautiful pewter tap and then we also have this beautiful Belfast sink and this was one of the main, 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 main things that mum wanted and it's just so 
stunning. Like it's so sleek and elegant, yet traditional, and it's just a timeless thing. And then we have this beautiful quartz countertop here. We have it here and over along here. I really, really, really wanted a white countertop because I felt like for this space, Anton not white would be too dark. So we went with this beautiful quartz. And the reason we chose quartz is because it's expensive, yes, but also it's easier to maintain. You don't have to get special cleaners for it because it won't erode. It's like there's, there's less pores in it than marble and granite, so it won't corrode or stain. It will last forever. So that's why we have quartz as well because there's a lot of kids here. So, you know, when they're coloring and stuff, sometimes you get pens on the, on the countertop and then it's just a quick wipe and it's gone. Okay guys, so and along here we also have a dishwasher in here, we have a bin in here, and then we just have extra cupboard space on either side. So the idea behind this is so when you're washing your dishes or whatever, you'll rinse them, you clear off everything you need into the bin, into the dishwasher, and it's all in this one area. So it's easy and, and it almost makes doing them kind of jobs fun. Okay guys, now I'll show you this beautiful barn door that we have installed. I'll show you here, so it slides all the way over. So it completely closes off the sitting room. So you can have your privacy in here. Whoever's in there can have the privacy in there. And it's just completely like, it's not soundproof, but it cuts out any light or anything that comes through. And it's nice to have that option to close off and separate the spaces. Okay guys, so that's it for this kitchen reveal. I really hope you enjoyed. Please let me know in the comments what your favorite thing was. And also, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And also hit that little notification bell to be notified when I upload. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!